for Xeno Wi-Fi as well as any other tournament. Any insect battles? And... Yeah, insect battles. Oh god. I should start uploading those. All right, yeah. So we have. Uh, I don't think we've ever had Mega vs. Beast on stream before. Uh, Mega has been on, I believe, three or four times so far. The Beast is. Uh, he's a beast. <laughs> No, but Beast is actually a regular here at Xeno Wi-Fi. We see him all the time. We love his crazy out there gameplay, especially with Charizard. My man should use Squirtle a little bit though, but that's neither here nor there, right? As a fellow Pokemon Master, Devin, how do you feel about that down there? Holy crap! And just like that, like you see Beast like go for like these super uh, these moments when somebody isn't guarded. Where he's just like, yeah, I, I'm going to press my advantage right now and I'm going to kill you. Because Charizard is a monster. Nobody seems to realize this. Why doesn't anyone realize that there's literally a gigantic dragon just running around, killing everyone? I'm just going to use him to murder you people. Yeah, and uh, if there's one thing that Mega's really good at, it's using the platform to his studio's advantage. Uh, whether it's using it to string Nair so you can get a better Nair combo, or to increase his reach just a smidge to make it so that if somebody actually manages to avoid getting Nair combo, he can try to get a pickup. Mega's really good at that. A wonderful parry from Kamina, very nice. Oh, the super armor on the upbeat. Coming in clutch. My man's was greedy, and Beast was like, nah, dude, nah, you crazy, you wild for this one. Well, let me see that classic Mega F Smash coming out of advantage. He's gonna get one hit, and he's gonna do it. There it is! Alright. Yeah, Beast, like, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and F Smash you back, buddy. You know, Beast wants that, uh, he wants that Flare Blitz, which I respect. Uh, he went for the double Nair, but he wasn't quite in the right position for it. Beast DI was really good, but you know what? He barely survived. He managed to barely survive for only a few more seconds. You can tell that Mega is trying to be a little more cautious now. He knows that uh, Charizard's up smash is hella disjointed. So he's trying to play this a little bit more carefully, but you don't want to be above Charizard at kill percent, and that back air was really nice. I don't even think that was the sweet spot. I didn't see a flame animation on Ike at all. I just literally saw this man get flung away from the stage at the speed of light. And he's dead. Let's look at that again. Oh, no, that was a sweet spot. All right. This wasn't, uh, I just wasn't lo alive long enough to show the, uh, the little flame animation of him being on fire, which is usually the indicator that he died. And you can see, like, in that first stock, uh, Mega was doing really well in terms of racking on damage, but literally one mistake was all it took for Beast to capitalize on that and take the first stock and then take advantage away from Mega. I guess a character that can be really tough to fight because he has a pretty he has a pretty decent neutral in terms of advantage. He's able to turn a single hit into a pretty distinct uh, amount of percent and kills. But if uh, if he loses the lead, it becomes much more desperate for him, and he has to approach, and that's when it becomes really risky to play him. All right, we are going back to PS2. Mega clearly thought that was not the problem, which I respect that. It was a pretty close match overall, and honestly, it could be summed up to several mistakes from Mega that ended up costing the match, plus some really strong reads from Beast. All right, so we have uh, some combos from Mega. Very nice. If there's one thing that uh, that that, uh, that Ike is really good at, it is whip punch. If you hit him where he was just half a second ago, he's going to get a lot of reward off of that. And this might be the... Nope, not quite the stock. Uh, Beast with a really good presence of mind there. Side being off the stage. That is the... Oh, no! 
If he's staying on the ledge too long, he doesn't have a counter or a way to really like oppose that if he gets hit. I'm not sure what he was going for there. He just didn't react. How unfortunate. Alright, and we have Mega for the first time in a pretty good lead. And again, the whiff punch coming into play, but Kamino, um, so he's managing to DI that up. Ooh! What a soft punish from Mega. I'm not sure what that jab was. I think it was just the mountains. Well, you know what? He still has the lead overall. He's definitely about to lose that stock, though, if he doesn't play carefully. Uh, Charizard grab not strong, quite strong enough, but up smash totally is. A beast looking for that hit that's going to send Mega over the edge and take him out, but not quite getting it. And honestly, on the back foot after a moment. All right, yeah, not beast. Uh, Mega playing this very patient, just like yeah, I need to slow this game down. Uh, you want this to be a fast-paced game where you are just getting hits and I'm getting hits. But if I stop, I think I can get some kind of damage. Interesting reaction from Mega, not really going for any kind of uh, appreciable punish on the forward smash charge there. Even though I'm pretty sure Ike has the uh, the ability to punish pretty well. And Mega doesn't have a shield now, he's got that peanut size shield. Well now it's uh, back to being kind of a macadamia nut size. But he's got to be careful because Beast is hungry for this kill. This man is tired of being on his last stock alone and he brought it back there. Our last stock game. Mega needs to win this match if he wants to stay alive in winners. Okay, good patience for Mega, but not quite getting the reward he probably wanted. He's most likely looking for another Nair to get a Nair, another Nair string into an up air to finish the match. Charizard is pretty heavy though. And that's gonna be it! <laughs> That's one thing that Mega's really good at, it's stringing those nares on the platform. He understands how to, uh... No sympathy from me. He understands, uh, how he's gonna play the matchup, and he's trying to... He's trying to push Beast into specific situations, and doing a very good job of capitalizing on them. Honestly, there's very little Beast could have done to save himself there, besides maybe missing the tech, and then doing a uh, get-up attack. But even then, he was most likely dead because Mega was on him so well. Alright, we're going to game three. We're going back to PS2. Who is surprised? Not me. This is totally a uh, Beast's comfort stage. I don't think I've ever seen him play on anything else unless he was counterpicked to it. So, yeah, I, I, so I'm not surprised in the slightest. Alright, Beast with pretty good custom combos getting started and a miss input causing him to dash attack into the platform. And just giving Mega some free damage! My man's... Oh, he was too far though! He didn't run forward! Alright, Mega with a pretty good recovery, pretty solid. You can see Mega wanted, he wanted another Nair combo into the up air because that would have guaranteed the kill. Oh my gosh! A man's went big sword go boom into his skull. I was like, no way, Mega's not gonna go for the SD kill, is he? He has a lead, but I didn't think it was that big of a lead. He was just gonna go for it, and he didn't. All right, good spacing on the side B for Mega to get back onto the stage.
you can see like this is one of the situations where Ivysaur is kind of strong. He's able to keep throwing them out razorly at mid range versus characters with no projectiles, particularly. But once it gets to close range, like all bets are off. You gotta get that hit. Or else Ivysaur is completely open. And again, like you can see, like Beast is using up smash as an anti-air versus uh, Mega. Mega likes to jump in a lot. He's very and Beast is very cognizant of that fact. Good pursuit, but not quite linking it up. You know what? Like this looks like it's gonna be uh, like Mega's gonna get that kill, but Beast has made bigger comebacks than this in the past, and I would not be surprised if he takes this set, regardless. And that might be the start of it. That might be the start of a, a Beast comeback, but maybe it's not. All right, here we go. We see some nice combos coming out of um, coming out of Beast, getting him off. Is going to get the downer? No, he went for the Nair to try to send him out a little more horizontal to force the 50-50 into the downer slash up air. But he wasn't able to link that Nair, and now Pete, uh, Mega's back on the stage, and he has the opportunity to get some damage. Up smash, not quite strong enough to kill yet. It's a pretty decently strong move, but Ike is a big fat boy. And they're both kind of having trouble getting off the stage, the, the ledge there. Oh boy, he's dead! And just like that, Beast, they're both on their last stock, and whoever takes the stock first is gonna be the man who moves on to winner's semis. And that's gonna be... No, it's not! He's too light! He didn't have any rage. You can see Mega wants it. He wants that Nair because he's like, you're going to be a kill percent if I hit you again. But now he has a stale kill move. But he does have a stale link up. So if he gets the other... Oh my gosh. I cannot believe the last two interactions were literally Nair and Top Air. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, I mean, it works. It works. Mega moves on to winner's semis. And next up, we're going to have Z minus versus Slink. Or oh, we may not. We might need a second, guys. Sorry. Okay, we might actually have a, a bit of a switch. Because, um... Z minus... Oh! Z minus is here, okay. Okay, he is here. Sorry about that. 